Hi, in this video I want to show you the uh, powerful formula uh, config type that you can now use in PDF Butler. So uh, we have a list of opportunities on our account and we want to have the uh, total amount of the opportunity, the average amount, minimum, maximum amount. We maybe want to make some calculations like for instance the commission that we have to pay on these amounts and yeah just to make a calculation, let's say that we want to use the locations on the uh, um, on the account to actually also take that into uh, into account for calculating the price. So on the uh, account, as you can see here, we have uh, some field called uh, locations, and this field locations we will would like to use in our calculation. So uh, next up, this is also available for uh, lists so we can just start replicating through a list and then in every replication make those calculations so we're going to do a long demo uh, where we see loads of different types of uh, uh, calculations that we can make but at least you see a full overview let's get started so first step is i create a config type i created my uh, data sources already and I started on the setup of the config type. My file is already linked and now I'm going to do step by step all the uh, the config types and the calculations that are required. So let's first calculate the total amount of our opportunity. I just add a config type here. I'll take, I'll just use the name total amount, go for the type single for formula. Uh, the type is a currency. We want currency formatting, of course, and the merge field is total opportunity amount. Now let's open up the formula editor. In the formula editor, as you can see, it's a drag and drop editor to make your calculations. So first of all, I want to uh, make a calculation, uh, make an aggregate. So that's a sum of all the data uh, of all the records in our uh, opportunities for the account data source. So I just drag and drop this. I say that it's a sum, then I select a data source that I want to use, that is this data source. Uh, if you have multiple list data sources, you can of course select the correct list data source that you want to use. Uh, I don't want to filter it, so I just want to use all the uh, records, so there is no filter applied here. And then which field do I want to uh, start calculating on from my data source? Uh, that's just the amount field. So that's it. That's our first formula. And now if I click OK, OK, and save to server, I can actually already test this. Let's take a look. If I generate a document now, it will show me the sum of the entire of all the opportunities we have. So let's continue uh, with this uh, setup and I'm going to add some more items right here. You will see it's more of the same every time, so you can fast forward if you understand this setup already. Okay, let's go for the second item in the, uh, it's the average. Then single for formula. It's of course again a currency. We want currency formatting. And now if I open up the temp, see how fast is you can do this. Uh, I want to have the average now in this case. Uh, the data source still remains my uh, list data source for the all the opportunities that I want. And now the selected fields that I want to average on is also the amount. Okay, cool. So this is done. One more for the maximum. And then we're going to test it and see if it actually uh, gives me the correct information. OK. Uh, currency formatting. Yes. OK. Data sources. It's the uh, minimum that I wanted now. This is the data source that I want to use. Um, and this the field that I want to select the minimum on is the amount. Okay, okay, save. Now let's test this setup. So as you can see that, okay, this seems to be just fine. This is the average. I only have two opportunities here, the minimum opportunity. So now let's <coughs> do some more complex calculations. 
we're going to calculate the commission. Let's say uh, we have a 5% commission on the uh, sum of the, uh, the opportunity. So how to go about that? Let's go to our editor. We're going to add a config type, the name of the config type. I just copied that one. So it's going to be a uh, single for formula. Of course, it's again a currency in this case. And the merge field is our merge field. Let's open up the editor. Again, we need to have um, the sum here. We're going to loop through all the data sources that uh, or all the records in this data source. And then we're going to select a calculation. So our calculation is going to be this one here. And I want to multiply. So and I multi multiply by a certain uh, static number. So here the static number is going to be let's say 0,05% uh, or let's say 5. Yeah, let's make it a little bit more complex. Maybe this one. Okay, throw this one away and I'm going to do a more complex uh, calculation as you, so you can really see the power of this one here. And okay, I'm going to select this one. So that would be 5 from 5% and then I'm going to divide it by another static number saying 100. So this is going to be our calculation. And then we need to select a field that we want to map it to. And this field here is going to be our amount fields. So for every record, we're now going to uh, take the amount field and multiply that by, uh, by 5%. Okay, that should be it. And now we do the same thing for uh, the total cost times the uh, number of locations. So let's create one more config type. Okay, um, single for formula. Type is currency of every time again and again. Okay, so we're going to aggregate it. That's the sum. The data source is again our list data source. Uh, we're going to do a calculation here. So I'm going to drag this one over here. The fields to be using is the amount field. Um, OK, and then I'm going to do uh, going to select another field from a single data source. And that's going to be the not the ID fields, but I'm going to use the uh, number. Um, now I'm going to add the number of locations right here. So now I'm going to take the amount, multiply it by the number of locations, and then take the full sum of that. OK. OK, let's save. Let's take a look if we run this. So now if everything goes fine, we should see that we see indeed now we have the commission that we have calculated there. It's our 5% commission. And then we have multiplied actually this number times 5 uh, um, for this uh, number of locations. So seems to work fine. Then uh, let's move on to something more complex. Let's go and uh, actually do this inside of an iteration. So we're going to loop. Uh, we're going to replicate this row here for every record we have uh, in the uh, in the opportunities. It's just two records, but you've, uh, you understand how it will work. OK, let's go here and I go to select my opportunity name. That's how I identify the row. And I'm going to create a table row. Then in this table row, I'm going to say I want to do all the opportunities for my account. And this is how I identify my table row. Next up is in my table row, I will say that I want to show the opportunity name, of course. So that's the name of the opportunity. And then we want to show the opportunity amount. And then we start doing some calculations. OK, that's it. So this is still the uh, opportunity amount, currency formatting. OK, save. Let's take a look at this already. There are no calculations being done here, but I just want to see if the data is shown correctly. So we generate the documents. And indeed, we already see that this data is populated correctly. So what's up next is that we calculate this uh, commission. 
Um, so let's go select this one, this merge fields, and then go here as a child of the opportunity name. Let's start calculating the commission. It's a single for formula, currency, of course, currency formatting, and then let's open up the editor. In this case, we don't want to do any aggregations. Yeah? We actually uh, know that there is a roaming data source and this roaming data source there, we want to do some calculations on. So on this, um, um, let's go first to the math thing. So what we want to do here is actually calculate 5% um, Let's, we want to calculate 5%, 5 divided by 100, 100. Okay, and that's what we want to calculate for a certain field in the roaming data source, which is then the field uh, amount, I would guess, yeah. So you saw that when I selected the field that was not amount, uh, yeah, that it actually showed the, uh, uh, yeah, that it actually wasn't able to bind here because then it says, okay, this is not a number field, not a currency field, not a person field. So it doesn't, uh, it, it's not able to, uh, to bind then in this uh, setup. So that's a validation that's done automatically. Okay, we have the amount. Okay, calculation seems fine. That's uh, one step. Let's take a look at this already. Um, to see if everything is going fine. Otherwise, we should stop the demo here. And indeed, now I already calculated my commission on here. And let's move on to the next item. So we want to do the opportunity amount times the number of locations, and then uh, do that to, uh, and then the opportunity amount times the probability. So this one will calculate if, uh, depending on an, a field from another data source. And this one will actually start calculating uh, two fields in one data source. OK. Take my merge field. And then let's go over here. OK. A single for formula. Um, type is currency, formatting, merge fields. OK. Now um, I'm going to have to do a calculation again. And the calculation was that from the roaming data source, I need to take the uh, amount field. And I need to multiply that with a field from another data source, from a single data source. And that was the uh, uh, number of locations. OK, that's it. Now, um, one more thing, and that was the opportunity times the probability. So two fields from the same data source will be used here. So let's go and add this field. It's a uh, single for formula, currency, formatting. Yeah, OK. And we again want to do some mathematic mathematics mathematics here. So we're going to select a field from the roaming data source. That's going to be the amount field. And we're going to select another field from the roaming data source. And that's going to be the probability field. And we're going to multiply these. Save. OK, let's try this and see if now we have the full demo set up because everything should be in here now. So what we see is that indeed we have um, yeah, quite some, uh, some calculations done. Uh, this doesn't seem to be correct. So I think we have to do it a little bit more complex uh, because this is a probability and the probability uh, is, in, uh, is a percent. So what we have to do actually in our setup here is very easy. We just have to change the formula to actually divide this probability uh, by 100. OK, and we're going to divide it by a static number, and that's going to be 100. OK, and then we just have to drag this here. 
save and then one more test. Okay, this seems more likely. So now we are the, uh, doing it by the uh, percentage of the probability. And uh, okay, this one is 100% probability, it seems, because it's the same amount. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the full demo on the calculations.